Hey there everyone, Philchill here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I will be showing you some of the upcoming games that will be releasing this year or the next which are very similar to games that we already know and love like Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon or Animal Crossing, with some added elements from other genres as well. The list will cover 10 games that are really interesting and you should keep an eye out for them and their release dates as well. But before we start, make sure to hit that like button and let's get into the video, starting from number 1, which is called One Lonely Outpost. One Lonely Outpost had a really great kickstarter because of its unique setting. In the game, you start as a colonist on a new and barren world, all alone and have to make difficult choices in the game. You can choose to follow the more natural path where you grow organic produce, or follow the synthetic route where you will focus more on the genetically modified plants from which you can get a lot of different fruits and vegetables which can result in glowing cabbages and more for you to discover. Keeping animals is also decided by your choice from a natural or synthetic route, where you may keep earth based animals or the more synthetic ones which are robo cows and more. But with either of those two choices, the more quality produce, the more colonists that we will attract to your planet. As the game starts off with you being all alone on the barren planet, but as you grow your outpost more and more colonists will be drawn to it and they will start moving in and creating a community where you will be able to meet parents, friends or even your future spouse. The game is being developed by Aurora Studios and it should release in early 2022. I was quite intrigued by the setting of the game and I would most definitely give it a try when it releases. So if this game caught your eye, feel free to wishlist it on Steam Welcome. so you know when it releases. Moving on to number 2, and this game is called Garden Story, where you play as a newly appointed guardian of the grove, but being the youngest of the bunch has its fair share of difficulty and skepticism from the inhabitants. Your goal in the game is to combat an invasive rot that is plaguing the lush and colorful island, inspire the citizens to assist in the efforts and rebuild your home a bit by bit, take on requests to fix up the town, get some help from the friends in the game and explore the vibrant world with 4 different regions and try to clear out infested areas as you use a plethora of items to gather resources. There are a lot of puzzles to solve in the game and you can farm and cultivate as well which makes it similar to many other farming games out there. The game is being developed by Picogram and it is set to release this summer so I hope we will be able to see it during this month. You can wishlist it on Steam so you get notified when it releases, but I will be definitely checking out this game as well. Next on the list we have Dinkum where you can build a home on an island which is heavily inspired by the wild Australian outback. You can explore a diverse setting of lush forests, scorching deserts and a lot of Australian wildlife. You will need to work hard and collect a lot of resources so you can survive and build up your community to attract new people to your town. You can start out by sleeping under the stars to having a huge town with a lot of villagers where you need to keep the town protected from every danger and also build light posts, fences, gardens and more to make your ideal town. You can go treasure hunting, mining, bug catching, hunting animals head on or capture them with traps, farming for crops and keeping animals as well, which makes this game full with content to explore. Everything depends on you and the way you would like to play the game. There are tons of customization options so you can achieve your desired appearance and the game is being developed and published by James Brandon and the release date is set to coming soon, so I can only hope that it will be this or the next year. The game is fairly new and I quite enjoy the look of it, so we will just have to wait and see for when it releases. Next on the list we have Sneko, where you explore and revitalize a cursed island as Momo, a former big city cat who sets out with her childhood best friend to find a more fulfilling life. With the help of the island's caretaker, you'll farm, fish, build, upgrade your tools as you please in your effort to turn this ruined island into a thriving community. You'll need to gather materials, which you'll use to build houses and furniture, and over time you'll notice that your tiny community has begun to grow as villagers move in and open businesses on their own on the revitalized island. You can explore nearby islands, find out the truth of the curse, 
Call animals from all around the world to live on your island, find and grow new crops and more. I quite like the combination of a 3D world with 2D NPCs which gives it a really unique look and I will be most definitely checking it out when it releases. In the game you can take on requests from the animals or post requests as well for animals to do, which you can call from all around the world to come and work on the island. The game is being developed by Blue Curse Studios and as of now it still doesn't have a release date but I had to include it on the list. Next on the list we have Lens Island which is a farming sim dungeon crawler where you are the new settler on the island and you need to explore and gather materials to make your new home on the island. You will unravel the dark secrets the island holds as you venture deep down in the caves in search of treasures. You can build wherever you want, big as you like it and you will be able to choose from a wide variety of materials as well. I must say, the game has a more realistic look to it and it's quite beautiful. You can explore the world around you and interact with it as well by rebuilding old broken things or finding past tools and weapons to call your own. Farming is also an important aspect of the game as the food from your crops will fuel your adventures into the caves. Below and everything excess you can sell to the villagers for gold. The game is being developed and published by Flow Studios and the release date is quite near which is set for October 2021. Another game that we have on this list is Roots of Pacha, which is one of the games I am really excited for. In this game you start by roaming the ancient wilderness where you decide to settle down and begin a community which will grow over time. You begin your journey by developing tools and ideas that will reshape the primitive world. You will learn the process of preserving food, metalworking, creating beautiful pottery and art unlock the clan's spirituality and invent new buildings over time. You can explore the wilderness to discover and tame animals and also find new crops to grow on your own. This game looks and sounds really awesome with all of the options we are getting and I quite like the idea where you start off by scratch and keep building up from there. The game is being developed by Soda Den and the release date is scheduled for 2022 without any other additional information. This is one of the games that I'm most definitely checking out when it releases, so I suggest keeping an eye out for it as well. Next on the list we have A New Leaf Memories. In this game you wake up on a beach of a foreign land unable to recall anything. To help you, the town residents give you basic farming tools to help you in your quest for your lost memories. You are gifted a small and empty plot of land by the mayor where you can transform and manage the terrain on your own. You will be able to grow crops, plant trees and flowers and raise animals, playing the game in the way you would like to play. There will be cooking, mining and fishing where you will be able to get more resources to progress in the game. The townsfolk will be an important part of the game where you will need to be able to befriend and romance them as you progress in the game. They will give you quests that will help you find out what happened before coming to the island in search of your memories. The game has a really interesting and cute look, inspired by the classics like Sardew Valley, Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing and is being developed by Iron Heart Studios and the release date is scheduled for March 2022. Another game that we have on our list is Song of the Prairie. The game features a 3D world which looks wonderful. As you move to the town you unexpectedly become the mayor of it, where you have the choice to be a respected leader or an indifferent mayor, the choice of which will be left up to you. The life in the game will be all decided up to you. You can explore the world, plant and take care of crops, keep and breed animals or focus on the town's construction. You will be able to construct buildings, decorations, invite new residents and also build relationships with them. There will be more than 40 kinds of fruits and vegetables in different seasons. There will be magical animals which will have different products based on the food they eat and you can have the world look as you wish where you will be able to build and destroy a lot of the scene content and buildings. The game is being developed and published by Droplet Studios but there is no release date announced yet. I quite like the look of the game and will most definitely give it a try when it comes out. The next one that we have on our list is a game that I am also looking forward for which is Coral Island. 
This game is set on a tropical island and it has the traditional features of a farming sim genre. The look of the game is beautiful and most of the game mechanics are really interesting. You can grow crops, gather resources from mining and fishing and also befriend the villagers. You can revitalize the town and the surrounding coral reefs in order for fish to be able to return there. You can meet a new race which is the mermen and visit their kingdom underwater. On your farm you can grow a lot of exotic and traditional crops and trees but also keep a variety of animals as well. I really love how the game looks and sounds and I can't wait for it to come out. The town will also offer a museum where you can store caught bugs and fish and complete collections there. The game is being developed and published by Starway Games and I must say I can't wait for it to come out. The release date is set for early 2022. And the last game that we have on our list is Palia. Palia is an upcoming MMO which combines the mechanics from Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing and the looks from Breath of the Wild. The game is described as a community sim game but as an MMO. It will feature a community storyline which will take place over a long period of time and the customization in the game will be massive as on launch it will have over 1000 decoration items to build and customize your house with. The look of the game is breathtaking and I quite liked it. Guilds will be in the game but they will be called neighborhoods where I imagine we will be able to build our houses in a community and allow other neighbors to see the house that we have. We will be trying to unveil the history of the past humans and their disappearance and the story will take over a long period of time. NPCs in the game will be important and you can have relationships and romance them as well. The game is being developed by Singularity 6 which is a team consisting of X Blizzard and Riot developers and the game's pre-alpha is already up but we don't have a fixed release date yet. All in all, that is my list for the top 10 upcoming farming sim games similar to Stardew Valley. Please let me know down below, out of these 10 games, which one you're looking forward for the most? Are any of these games on your wishlist? And will you give any of these a try? Hopefully you found this video interesting and make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any future videos and you can follow me on Twitter and join my Discord channel so you can get to know me better. That's it for me, I hope you have a great time and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.